Zabu's not gonna believe his mind when he finds out what's in this wagon. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! Do you have any idea what's in that wagon? I don't think he knows, but we'll never know if he knows or not until we give him a snack. Got it. Celery. Sabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah, thanks. This celery's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Give me some of the food. <laughs> Hello, did you see that? I can't believe my mind. What's in the wagon? Maybe the little dog knows. Look, can he help pull it? Hey, little dog, can you talk to me? What's in the uh, wagon? Yeah, that wagon that you were pulling. The one right there behind you, buddy dog. Oh. Yeah, that tickles my, he's tickling my tail, but I don't know what he's saying. Well, I can't understand what he's talking about. He's not telling you, huh? No. Well, you're just gonna have to figure it out somehow. Thanks for the muscle, buddy. Hey, can somebody please tell me what's in the wagon? Can somebody please talk to me? Huh? huh? Do you know who that is? I do. He's telling me by that sound he's making. And we were talking in the forest this morning. Do you know who? Who could it be? <laughs> who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> he had a big gray body and four thick legs. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. Mongotska! Mongotska! Animal! And he had a really long nose that made lots of sounds. It was talking to me. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Long nosed. Talking creature. Do you know who he is? Well, every creature can talk in his or her own way. But there's only one creature who talks like that. An elephant! Toothbrush! So good to see you again. Yeah, how you been? Mangatsika! Mystery Animal's here! It's Toothbrush! Did you know it was Toothbrush? Yeah, Toothbrush! <laughs> Maybe he knows what's in the wagon. Well, he's really smart. And so much more. I love elephant tails. Look at these long, black, wiry bristles. And they're all in a line. Look at that tail. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Now come on over to the other end. Have you ever looked right into an elephant's eye? You can see that these creatures have feelings. And they communicate their feelings and tell each other things in a lot of ways. One way is by using their long trunks. Elephants touch each other with those trunks to tell one another that they're there and that everything's okay. 
And these two are using their trunks to tell each other, hey, let's play. Huh? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> hey, brothers, why are you making the same sounds as toothbrush? <laughs> That's how elephants call each other over. Elephants are always talking to each other because they live in groups or herds and have to communicate to survive. Oh, so they talk so they can stay together. Yeah, that's one reason, Zabu. Come here, come here. Brothers, let's see what's in the wagon. My mind keeps asking me, what's in the wagon? All right, time to unload, let's go. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> we need help from a creature who knows how to move heavy things. A creature so strong, he can even knock down trees. Or a support post. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Toothbrush, don't knock down Animal Junction. Well, come tip the wagon, okay? Over here, Toothbrush. Come we on, need your help. help. Yeah, use that trunk and give us your elephant power. I think he's got the idea. But Zabu, stay clear. The stuff's gonna fall out the other side. I'm finally gonna find out what's in the wagon. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Where's Zabu? Zabu? <laughs> What is all this stuff? Letters! Letters. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> letters! Letters, Zabu. Letters like in letters from the people who see us on TV. Oh. These letters are messages from people who want to tell us something. Oh, really? Well, what do they say? Well, this one, Zabu, is from Danielle. And it says, Dear Krat Brothers, I really like your show with Zabumafu. I know the words to all the songs on the show. And uh, I like when Zabu pushes the food buttons and food comes out. Oh, me too. Especially when the food's for me. Whoa! <laughs> I also like when you guys go to the closet and the things fall on top of you and when you swing and fall in the mud. Can you do that some more? Oh, sure we can. She likes it. Come on, let's do it for her. All right. All right. <laughs> there they go. They're going to do it, Danielle. That reminds me of when Sai sent us a message in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I heard a voice from above. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, did you guys hear that? And why are you hiding? Huh? Oh, I um, can't talk now, Zabu. Oh. Gotta go. That's me. I, I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so late, Sonny. What is the matter with everyone? Why won't anyone talk to me? Huh? Would somebody talk to me? And where did that voice come from? I only wanted someone to talk to me. I want to talk and play. Do you want to play with me? I told him we all like to talk and play, and I threw him a Goobleberry. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, hey, he's all right. Ah, oh, thanks. A catch oh, knocking so through. So we played and talked to our new friend, Sai, all day. The end. <laughs> I want to talk to more letters. <laughs> Let's do another one. I'm going to get one this time and open it. Oh. This one. Huh. It's not talking to me. That's just because you haven't learned how to read yet. You see, reading and writing is a special way that humans communicate. And the animals make special sounds to communicate with each other. And creatures of the same species understand the sounds each other makes. Creatures talk to each other. Otters chirp, but only humans write letters. I can't believe my mind. So letters can talk to you. Mungazika. Yeah, a lot of times huh? humans talk like we're doing right now. Uh -huh. But sometimes humans talk by reading and writing. Oh, well, uh, read this one to me. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, look at this one. Oh, beautiful. It says, Dear Zabumafu, hi, my name is Gabrielle. Hi, Gabrielle. I am five. I like your friend Toothbrush. Hear that, Toothbrush? Chris and Martin, are you really brothers? Yes. Yeah, we're brothers. Love, Gabrielle. Please write back. Well, what does that mean, please write back? 
It means Gabrielle wants us to write one of these and send it to her. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's write one. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Hmm. All right, so we have everything we need. Ready. All right, well, grab something. Whatever you want to write with, grab it and let's get started. Where's the marker. <laughs> <laughs> Not with your mouth, huh? You use your hand. Grab it with your hand, uh -huh. just like that. Just like that. And you're ready to go. Dear uh, Chris, I think we gotta teach him the letters. Zabu. Your... Zabu. Great. Zabu. Yeah, what? Now what you do is with the marker, you make the letters. Oh, yeah. And put them in order to oh, make yeah. the words you want to say. G, A, mm -hmm. B. Gab. E E L L. How come so many L's? E. <laughs> that's the way it's spelled, Zabu. Okay. Gabrielle. There. Oh, oh, that's fun. So I just talked to Gabrielle by doing this. Exactly, oh. Zab. You're off to a great start, but oh, we're not finished hey, look yet. Who's here? Brainiac. I gotta go talk to her. <laughs> hey, Brainiac. You know what? I'm learning how to write. It's really fun. It really is. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Yeah. I love you, too. You want to play? Chimps have many different ways of talking, and they can say a lot just with the way they use their faces. Watch your face. Really closely. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Okay, Zabu, Chris and I added some stuff. Oh, what'd you say? We said, yes, we are really brothers. Uh -huh. And you make really great pictures. <laughs> hey, I want to do a picture for our letter. All right, Zabu. So just grab the paints and the paint brushes and go for it. There, I'm going to draw a picture of me and, uh, <laughs> well, me. Here goes. Okay, I'll start with my head. Yeah. There you go. Me and there's my tail. My tail went off the page. <laughs> now I'll draw my ears and uh, my body. Yeah. My color. Yeah. I'll use my markers. Yeah. <laughs> I did my very first picture for my very first letter. <laughs> oh, you did a really good job on your face, too, Sabu. Huh? I did? Oh, yeah. Huh? It's towel time. Towel time? <laughs> Well, the next... Hey, the wolf pups are here. Do you pups want to talk? Wait up, I want to talk to you. You got it, Zabu. Wolves talk in their own way, too, and not just by howling. You see, a lot of different creatures, including wolves, leave their scent behind. That's because smell is an important way for wolves to communicate. A scent left behind can tell a wolf, hey, someone was here, and not that long ago. The scent tells a wolf who the other wolf that peed was, and all sorts of other things. Hey, what do you smell down there? Whoops, my tail! <laughs> Are you telling me you want to play? <laughs> what? I think Wolf Pup's telling me he likes me. <laughs> I think you're right, Zabu. Brothers, I'm ready to go back to the letters now. Yeah. OK, Zabu, let's finish off this letter. Oh, OK, what do we do? Well, now we have to sign it. Sign it? Yeah, I'll go first. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's your name. Yeah, and now I sign my name. Oh, OK. Well, what do I do? I don't know how to sign my name. Well, first put your hand in the ink. Oh, OK. Hand in the ink. Okay, and now no. slap your hand down on the letter. Oh, OK. That's your signature. Hey, lost and found! <laughs> I did it! I signed my first letter! See, look! Huh? <laughs> hey, lost and found signed it too! <laughs> I get it. Lost and found did sign it, just like the wolf did. This is a dog's way of talking. Yep, that's lost and found, all right. <laughs> You're right, Sabu. Peeing and pooping is a way that so many creatures talk to each other. Hmm. Me too. I can talk like that too. Let's see where I'm going to talk. Where to talk? Hmm. Uh -huh. Ah, the perfect place. Mm -hmm. 
So now we take the letter and the picture and put it in the envelope. Oh, that's easy. And now I just lick the envelope. Yeah. I mean, Martin licks the envelope. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I mean, Zabu licks the envelope. Oh, well, okay. Well, where do I lick it? Right there. Okay. That was not yummy, that was black. That was the worst part, but you did it. Hey, I did it. Yeah. I wrote my first letter. High five. All right. High five. Right. <laughs> hey, lost and found too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Writing letters like people do is a fun way to talk. You know what she's saying? Time to play ball. <laughs> And you know, every animal has their favorite game. Even an elephant, she likes to kick a basketball. And an elephant has an advantage over us. She can kick with four legs, not only two. I'm on toothbrushes, team, let's play. Uh. All right, toothbrush, let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, he's good. Whoa, I feel different. Not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. I feel elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. I'm a big nose talker and I'm talking all the time. <laughs> Elephant dish. <laughs> so, um, how do we get this letter to Gabrielle? Well, we could use mail, express mail, hand delivery, or. What? <laughs> Crow! He took off with the letter. He has something. Huh? Well, let's take a look at this message from the animal helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. My name's Garrett, and this is my friend, Zed. Sometimes Zed wakes me up in the morning. I like to run around a lot. Sometimes we just relax together. Sometimes we like to watch TV together. Then you're my best friend. That makes me want to check out more creatures. My mind smells a trip. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> <laughs> and you never want to be caught without your walkie-talkies. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're Bye. headed out the door. Brothers, have fun talking to animals. Oh, and now that I know how to write letters, I'm gonna keep on writing them. And soon, I'm gonna get to yours. <laughs> Nothing's better than mountain biking in India. And there must be some talking creatures around here someplace. We just have to find out. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Uh oh, there goes Chris. Whoa, Chris, whoa. your brakes. I don't have any. Oh, boy, that's pretty steep. Hang on! What a ride! Hey, bro, I have no idea where I am. I'm lost. <gasps> but look at that! I heard a cheetle deer. Cheetle deer are the most common type of deer in this part of India. But where's Martin? A lot of cheetle, but no Martin. Hey, there's a langur monkey. But still no Martin. Where are you? Where is he? I've got to keep my eyes peeled and my ears open. Cheetles can hear everything. So if anybody knows where Martin is, they do. Let's see if the Cheetles can find him. I know how to make contact. 
walkie talkies. Chris, come in, Chris, over. Chris, do you read? Over. Where are you, Chris? Over. Chris, where are you? Where are you? Over. Martin's in the backpack. Of course, the walkie-talkie. Martin, you there? Over. Chris, is Martin here? Where are you? Over. I'm here at the edge of a meadow. With a herd of cheetle. And something's making them really edgy. Could be a tiger. Oh. It is a tiger. But you really don't want to be on foot around a hungry tiger. Martin, you better get me out of here. I'd love to, Chris, but I don't know where you are. Can you give me a signal or something? Over. Good idea, bro. How about a kite? All right, the wind's picking up. Fly like a vulture. Chris, I've got you spotted. Hurry up, because somebody else has me spotted, too. Now I'm coming down. Hang in there, brother. Martin, you better get me out of here. I think he has me mistaken for a cheetle. What a tiger! Yeah, he's amazing! Did you know that a tiger catches one meal for every ten times he tries? Yeah! <laughs> Here's the creature communication. Back to Animal Junction. Hey, you think Sabi's still trying to answer all that mail? <laughs> Maybe. How many letters do you think he's gotten to? He's a fast learner. Who knows? <sighs> Oh, Sabu has everybody helping out. <laughs> and what a mess. <laughs> well, Zabu, you're giving it a great try. Yeah, but maybe elephants should stick to trumpeting and rumbling and talking with the touch of their trunks. Right, Toothbrush? All right. Well, we still have a lot of letters to answer. Want to help, Fling? Yep, that's how you do it, Fling. You rip them open just like that. Yeah, good job, boy. Try that one. There you go. Rip that one open, too. Yeah, you really know how to open letters. Oh, so you want to help, too? <laughs> well, we have a lot of letters. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Wait, we need to answer these letters. Know what? I guess letters aren't what animals do best. You got that right, Zabu. And macaws should be ripping into clay on clay banks and telling other flock members to find their own spot on the clay bank. And maybe white-fronted capuchins should be with their troop, making the sounds, body postures, and facial expressions that make up the monkey language. <laughs> right? And what about leaping lemurs like me? You're off to a great start, Sabumafu, uh -huh. but you still have a lot to learn about letter writing. Uh, I know. It's like how I had to learn how to talk to my friends in Sabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. Leap when I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> you know there's something wrong with Wiggy when she's running back and forth. What am I gonna do? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. What's the matter, Wiggy? I said, talk to me. I'm working out. I can remember my Wiggy Waxwing song so I can tell everybody what a great day it was. Well, that's too bad, Wiggy. Everybody has to have a song to sing. Well, Google? Google has his Googleberry song to tell everybody when he's hungry. And Narchi? Narchi has his trumpet song to announce his arrival. Suddenly, I remembered Wiggy's song, and I whispered it to her. Oh, thank you, Zabu! Wiggy started singing, and she was so happy that she had her song back, she sang and sang and sang. Everybody knew it was a really, really great day. The end. <laughs> it's just a good thing we have so many letters for you to learn how to write with. Yeah, it's great that so many kids wrote us such great letters. It sure is. Thanks a lot, everybody. Yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. You're my letter writing animal friends. <laughs> now, let's see. Dear Martin and Chris, I love you.